Hello, people. Uh, well, I, I'd like to introduce our team here. Uh, just a second. Okay, uh, uh, we will start uh, the webinar for, for the DigiRail Connect. Uh, we have here Fernanda Schmidt. It's, uh, she is our product specialist. Uh, we have here also Jose Souza. It's our support analyst. Uh, maybe most of you already know him, and, yeah. and me, Fabio Piuma, a, a, a product manager. Okay, okay. Uh, welcome everybody. Uh, let's start. Uh, I, I'd like to, to, to thank all of you to invest your time to see and discover what we are offering in this new product as added value to the market. The idea is not to be long in this webinar, but to pass the right message in order to approach the customers. We are sure that you may appreciate it. Uh, this webinar has similar strategy as the previous one, including very good discount on uh, first batch purchases. This webinar is being recorded and will be put available to all attendants uh, that couldn't watch it on live. Okay, you, you'll be able to make questions by written in the tool, in the, in the Zoom tool, and we'll make some voluntary survey during the presentation uh, that we call the poll. Uh, so we are going to present our new Ethernet I.O. module, uh, DigiRail Connect. We'll discuss next about uh, Industry 4.0, and then you can start approaching the customers with the first, first floor for industry 4.0. And then we can call it the industry 4.0 in the Dean Rail. So this is the agenda. Uh, we'll make an overview about the motivation for this product and how it will meet some challenges or solve a problem in the customer. We'd like to show the highlights, the main features and the applications with this information together with the proper documentation, which is already available in our website, you'll be able to use it in your marketing campaigns and press sales effort. In the end of the webinar, we have a time to answer the most common written questions. But if some questions remains open, please, you can access your Novos account executive. Anyway, we will gather all questions and send the answers to all attendants. So the discussion, discussion here is the industry 4.0. As it has been approached in the market by many manufacturers, we are already in the fourth industrial revolution and many literatures testify and document it. In fact, there is a still a long way to be there. That means there are many opportunities to supply the components for the Industry 4.0 projects. The Industry 4.0 is a conglomerate of technologies like smart sensors, Internet of Things, big data, analytics, connectivity, edge computing, and artificial intelligence. Doesn't matter the level of adopted technology for the implementation any of those will need to capture the real variables from the field, from the machine, from the process. And for that, we need the sensor, the IO component to read the variable and transform it in digital format for processing in the higher levels. Another issue is that Industry 4.0 demands mass connectivity with the device, with the gateways, and with the cloud systems. The industrial Ethernet is already reality in the industry because almost all big manufacturers of automation systems, mainly PLCs, have already its own protocols over IP like Profinet, Ethernet IP, Modbus, TCP, Ethercat, and other. The generated mass of data and the data exchange of modern automation demands a broadband network the Ethernet network. So this fact forced a convergence between the information technology, the IT, and the automation technology, AT, uh, within the IP network infrastructure. 
now the two teams, IT and AT or OT, uh, work together in the industry. All of this looks very complicated, considering all those technologies of Industry 4.0 as real machines, real processes have different types of variables and consequently different types of signals to read. It looks that any automation demands many IO cards for POCs. What if we consider having an IO module or IO card with different types of signal in one only model and also Ethernet connectivity to implement distributed capturing of data and still some local handling of signal? This should simplify the automation for Industry 4.0. If this device exists, it can be used as a smart multi-sensor. It can be also used to generate big data capturing signals, or simply uh, it can be used as Ethernet remote I.O. for classic automation with PLC. Yes, this device exists and it is DigiRail Connect. It can handle mixed I.O., analog inputs, analog outputs, digital inputs, digital outputs, all in one only model. As other novice products, the analog inputs are universal, accepting many types of signals as, as well as the analog outputs which can be set the output type. DigiRail Connect has native Ethernet interface with Modbus TCP server protocol, which can be used as, as a slave in Ethernet network. It also uh, has RS-485 interface with Modbus RTU protocol. The device comes with USB port for configuration, diagnosis, and commissioning. DigiRail Connect complies with some approvals, which turn it robust and reliable for any kind of automation. Our confidence in this device is so open that we offer uh, three years of warranty. It is suitable to Industry 4.0 applications. So, Mixed I.O. is one highlight for DigiRail Digi Connect. It can read analog and digital inputs. It can drive analog and digital outputs. This mixed I.O. is a versatility needed for most machines and or processes. Native Ethernet is a key factor to consider it in a wide range of modern applications. The RS-485 interface is a must requirement to keep it compatible with legacy or automation. And the local USB port allows the user or the installer to configure, to diagnosis, and to commission easily with an notebook. Furthermore, DigiRail Connect offers some advanced functions for signal processing. The digital inputs can be set as counter for measuring pulse signals. Also, the time on and off of the digital input can be integrated. For example, to measure machine or process our meter on or off. The digital output can be set to function as one shot dur duration pulse output or simple uh, uh, work as a pulse train mode output. We'll see it in more details later on. Okay, technical features. So, as we mentioned before, DigiRail Connect has USB port and Ethernet and RS-485 interface. It works as a slave in the network, either or on Modbus RTU over RS-485 or Modbus TCP over Ethernet. The device can be powered from 10 to 36 VDC source power, which is a wide range for power supplies. It offers two universal analog inputs, which accept several kinds of thermocouples. Thermocouple J, K, T, N, E, R, S, and B. Also, it accepts PT100, PT1000, 
NTC, 0 060 millivolts, 0 05 VDC, 0 010 VDC, 0 020 milliamps, and 420 milliamps. All types are software configurable. The analog inputs are not electrical, electrically isolated from each other, but are isolated from other digital rail uh, connect circuits. So uh, the analog inputs are, are isolated from the other circuits of, of the card. Beside that, it has four digital inputs. These digital channels are suitable for receiving dry contact, NPN and PNP electrical signals. The maximum frequency detect uh, is 250 hertz for NPN or PNP type and 10 hertz for dry contact. Digital Connect model uh, reach analog mix, the Remix uh, model, this product launch has three digital outputs or two relay outputs selected in the purchase time. Digital output is transistor sourcing and the relay option has one SPST and one SPDT relay. The analog output have, have three types of signal, 020 milliamps, 420 milliamps, and 010 VDC. All can be set by software. The analog outputs are, are not electrically isolated from each other, but the SR is isolated from the other circuits. Okay, uh, digital inputs can perform different functions, which can be defined during configuration. First is logic status, which allows the device to relate the voltage levels, enter into the digital input to the logic states zero and one. The second is counter, which allows the digital input to count the number of pulses received in the terminals. It can use the rising edge or the falling edge of the received pulse. Third function is integrator on off, which allows the sum or integration of the intervals of time measured with the digital input in state zero and also the sum of the interval of time measured with the digital input in the state one. Those are separate information and separate variables. The related variables, either counter or integrator, are retentive memory, which means DigiRail can be switched off and the variables will remain safely in the memory and then automatically recovered in the power of the device. The digital output has three actuation modes. First is logical state, which reproduces the configured logical status. The second is pulse, which the output will turn on for, this, for a specific time interval and then return to the off state. And the third is actuation mode, uh, is the pulse train, which the output will create a number of pulses with a defined duration. After the pulse, pulse sequence, the digital output will return to the off state. Ethernet interface has Modbus TCP server protocol, which means it can be slave in TCP networks. The RS-485 interface has both master and slave Modbus RTU protocols. The normal use is a slave Modbus network, but DigiRail Connect can be used as a gateway between a Modbus TCP network and a Mod Modbus RTU network. Later, we will see the topology to understand how it works as a gateway. All parameters configuration of Digi uh, DigiRail Connect is made through the an experience software, which can configure it by USB or by Ethernet connection. Resolution is 16 bit for the analog inputs and 12 bit for the analog outputs. Good enough for most applications for capturing variables from machines or process in the industry. The accuracy is 0.2% of span for thermocouples. 
plus minus the cold junction temperature uncertainty. For all other input signals, the accuracy is 0.15% of span. These include PT100, PT1000, NTC, milliamps, volts, and millivolts. The operation conditions for digital correct are from minus, minus 20 to 60 degrees Celsius in temperature, and from 5 to 95% of relative humidity without condensation. An innovation for an I.O. module is the input simulation and the output forcing by software. Valuable features for user commissioning. So uh, now I'd like to, to make a, a, a poll uh, regarding the added value that you see in this product. Please, all of the attendants can, can vote. Uh, I'll wait a few seconds to, to vote. Please, you can start to vote. What are the added values that you see in this product? You, this is a multiple choice. You can choose uh, more than one option. Okay, this is, this is the result. So uh, the uh, most added value that uh, all the attendants see is the mix IO analog and digital. Second is the gateway mode Modbus RQ to TCP. Uh, the third one is native Ethernet. Also, the commissioning by input simulation output forcing uh, was uh, seen as added value. So thank you very much for, uh, for the poll. Uh, let's continue. Okay, device configuration is made with an experienced software. Uh, maybe most of you already know it. Uh, it is the configuration software. And it, is available in our website free of charge for download and use. It allows setting all parameters by USB or ethernet connection. Also, it offers real-time input monitoring, input simulation, output forcing, and configuration of all advanced functions for the digital I.O. This is how DigiRail Connect looks like. It is DIN rail mountable and has detachable connectors. Its modern and thin design offers small form factor for installation in panels. It has LEDs for each input and output individually to show real state of the I.O. for simple visual inspection. The RS-485 and Ethernet interface are in the bottom of the enclosure together with the power supply input. It also has three status LEDs, power, COM, and status, easy to understand its function. The status LEDs start blinking when there is an input error on the I.O. module. Here we can check the communication interface, USB, RS-485, and Ethernet. Regarding integration with other systems, the available Modbus protocols are widely used in most PLCs, HMIs, data loggers, and SCADA systems in the market. Novos is offering SuperView SCADA and future uh, data acquisition, both compatible with DigiRail Connect. Regarding topologies for the DigiRail Connect, this is maybe the most demanded from automation market, the remote I.O. DigiRail Connect can be used as native I.O. extension for most PLCs, HMIs, and data loggers, though most of them has already communication driver solution for Modbus, both, both uh, RS-485 and Ethernet. Our field logger, for example, can use DigiRail Connect as remote variables to log several signals in some applications. Another interesting topology is the use as a gateway from Modbus TCP network to Modbus RQ networks. The host of the network, in this example, the SCADA system, can communicate with each device individually in, a, in a, an RS-485 network from, from the Ethernet network transparently. 
DigiRail Connect just overtakes ahead the receives TCP message to the RTU network. There is a wide range of applications for DigiRail Connect. In most cases, it can replace for small machine automation. Several I.O. modules working together with a PLC or HMI or is still a panel PC. For distributed I.O. for capturing data or even remote I.O., it is the available solution because the versatility of the communication interface. So uh, most of the people have more than one potential customer to offer this product. That's great. Uh, so we, we, we have an opportunity here. Uh, and, and, and in the second, uh, uh, I have at least, at least one customer to offer this product. That's great. Uh, I hope that you can find uh, the customer for this product. Let's continue. So uh, finally, this is, the, this is the family of models for the DigiRail Connect. We are launching now the Rich Analog Mix, the Remix uh, model, which has two, two models, two types, with digital outputs and with relay outputs. It's uh, marked in red. The other models on the right side uh, are coming soon, uh, maybe uh, still in this quarter are digi digital mix, the D-mix and counts with high density digital inputs and outputs. So this is the, this is the family. We'll try now answer some questions made during the webinar. If you didn't wrote your question, please feel free to use this time. Okay, I have a question here. Uh, using DigiRail Connect as a gateway, uh, will it work as Modbus RTU master, master mode? No, it will only enable the readings from, for other Modbus device through the RTU. Uh, it means that it, it work as master uh, overtakes the message from, from the TCP side. Another question is, uh, what is the resolution of the analog inputs? It's 16 bits. The output, analog output resolution is 12 bit. Okay, we have another question. Uh, which value the outputs show if there is a failure in the connection? So uh, whenever there is an uh, RS485 or Ethernet failure, communication failure, uh, there is a, an option called watchdog. So if this watchdog uh, is enabled, it will show the last known value until the connection is reestablished. okay? Okay, uh, another question is for, for which applications we need a counter mode. Counter mode can be used, uh, for example, for, for uh, flow sensors. Uh, many flow sensors uh, generate pulses and we can, we can read and measure the, the flow. Okay. Um, Carrying with this question, uh, which applications we can use the integrator integration on-off mode? Uh, for example, uh, we can use for our uh, our meter for for engine for the machine. Uh, that's very known application for measuring OE for uh, efficiency uh, for the industry. Okay. Okay, uh, another question is, if, if I have a counter or integrator, uh, if it, the, the device is functioning uh, uh, as a counter integrator on any digital input, uh, if the device loses power, does it retain the information? Yes, DigiRail Connect retain the variables counter and integrator in the non-volatile uh, memory. And when the power is, uh, it turns on, uh, it recovers the, the variables automatically, okay. Uh, another question, if uh, this device can be connected uh, with other, uh, for example, PID controllers on the RS485 interface? Yes, it's possible, but in this case, uh, there is no master RTU, no, no PID controller is mastered. And also, DigiRail Connect is not master, but uh, maybe the DigiRail Connect can be connected through a host in the Ethernet, and then the host can access 
the other PID controller through the RS-485 network uh, uh, as a gateway. So the host can, can read uh, either DG Reconnect or and, and the uh, PID controller, okay? There is a question if DG Reconnect can be used in home automation systems. Uh, yes, it can be used. Uh, many applications of home automation uses already Ethernet connection, so uh, the host can be uh, the, the computer application directly with uh, several several DigiRail Connect network. Uh, there is a, a question about uh, if there is embedded web page web page through Ethernet uh, for the DigiRail. No, at this moment we have configuration only via uh an experience software not yet a uh, web page for configuration okay mm -hmm. uh, there is a question about the, the digital mix model uh, when it will be released uh, we 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 have a, a forecast to release still in this quarter okay maybe uh, november or december will be uh, available also uh, for you to to purchase it okay people uh, Let's uh, let's finish here. Uh, so uh, I'd like to thank all of you uh, for attending our webinar. Uh, please check our website. All the technical and commercial documentation about DigiRail Connect is already available uh, on the site. Uh, so I wish all of you good business with this. Thanks again and goodbye.